Hey guys, I got a new video for you today, and we're going to be looking at a pretty interesting product. This is Knuckle Lights, and I came across this a couple weeks ago, and I decided to reach out to the company and see if they would send me one out so I can review it, and they were gracious enough to do that. So as the name states, these are lights that you wear over your knuckles, and what first caught my eye is... Um, basically, sometimes I find myself uh, either walking or, or jogging around my neighborhood at night. I normally carry a flashlight in my hand or sometimes I'll wear a headlamp. And I find that once in a while I do need to either set it down or put it in my pocket um, because I need to get down and tie my shoes or drink water or something like that. Or if you're like me, maybe you're walking your dog at night and you know you have your dog leash in your hand and something else in your other hand. So uh, these solve the issue of... Um, what to do with your flashlight so it doesn't get in the way. So again, these are designed to be worn over your knuckles and it gives you the freedom to have your hands free to be able to do other things with them. So um, on the packaging here, it gives you a little bit of information on the lights themselves. So they are rechargeable, which is really nice because again, you don't have to worry about switching out batteries or anything like that. You're going to get a total of 280 total lumens. So that's, I'm assuming, 140 per uh, knuckle light. So again, total of 280. And it's gonna give you anywhere from four to eight hours per charge. Now that's just depending on what setting you have the lights on. Now it does come with a charging and storage dock, which is really nice because again, once you're done using them, all you have to do is put them on the dock and um, you can, you know, it'll, it'll store them and it'll charge them at the same time. Now what's cool about this also is that they are adjustable. So um, they have uh, per unit, you can go ahead and adjust it to your hands. So if you have larger hands or smaller, or even if you're wearing gloves, you can go ahead and adjust the silicone straps on the lights to be able to fit um, and find a perfect fit for you. Um, they're designed to be used in all types of conditions. So they are water resistant to IPX6. And then the beam on the lights is actually an extra wide flood beam. So it's going to do a really good job at lighting a really big area right in front of you, uh, wherever you're pointing the light at. Then you do have three different power settings. And again, that's where, it, where it's going to come into play, the difference in the uh, per charge hours from four to eight. Now, they do offer a five-year warranty. So if you have any issues or anything like that, you're covered for up to five years. So let's go ahead and open up the box so we can see everything inside. All right. So you have your user manual here. And I always recommend that you read through it. And they did a really awesome job at keeping it plain and simple. It just gives you the information that you need on how to charge it, how to wear it, and you know how to activate the light itself. So as you guys can see there, uh, you have pictures and you have a little bit of information. So here is the power options. Uh, you have high power, low power, and blinking mode. And again, that's uh, where it's going to determine how much usage you're going to get anywhere from four to eight hours on the lights themselves. So. That's that. Uh, onto the charging and storage dock. Here it is. So again, um, very easy to use. Basically, you just set this down, set the lights in there, and um, they'll go ahead and um, start charging. And this is great. That way, um, whenever you're not using it, it's out of the way. It's keeping it charged, um, but it's, it's keeping it stored as well. So you have a couple of LEDs right in the front there. That's going to tell you when the lights are done charging. And then in the back, you have your uh, connection port right there and a couple of rubber feet at the bottom. So that they don't move around. You have your supplied USB cable here and power brick. Again, this is uh, knuckle lights. So it's cool. It gives you everything that you're gonna need to um, to start using your lights and you know continue to use them. And then onto the lights themselves. Now, these are magnetic and I think they designed that so you can um, keep them together when you're not using them again because these are kind of set up as a pair. So, um, you know, when you're not using them, all you have to do is sit them in the dock right there and they'll be charged and stored and out of the way. And then when you need to go ahead and use them, just pull them out and you're good to go. So I'll grab one of these and show you guys here. So these are the uh, silicone straps in the back here. And as you guys can tell, you have a lot of different um, adjustment areas. So again, you can um, cinch these down so they're nice and tight or uh, make them wider so it'll fit over larger hands or gloves or anything like that. Now they do state that the best usage of this is to have them 
fit over your knuckles. And again, because they're called knuckle lights. Uh, but that way, um, I find that if you have them nice and, uh, and tight on there, uh, it's going to be best because that's going to give you security that if you're running around and sweating and stuff like that, they're not going to slide off. You're not going to lose them and stuff like that. Now, the one key thing is you want to make sure that you are able to reach the, uh, the button to turn them on and turn them off and stuff like that. So, uh, on the front of the light, I'll show you guys here. So obviously, as you guys can tell, um, I have the light in my hand and I'm able to do other things um, with my hands. So this is where uh, these lights, I think, definitely shine. It gives you that freedom to be able to, you know, grab a water bottle or a leash or something like that without having to worry about turning off your light or setting it down or anything like that. So back to the lights themselves. So as you guys can see, this is where that nice wide reflector comes into play. So it's going to give you that extra wide beam um, as you're walking around. So uh, if you press the button, once uh, you're going to have the high output right there uh, you press it again and it's going to give you the low and then if you press it one more time that's going to give you the blinking mode now there's no specific sequence it's just going to blink on and off on and off uh, until you turn it off or until the batteries run out and then one more time and it turns them off so i'll put the other one on this one and again i have them nice and tight uh, maybe a little tighter than what I should, but you know that's so that I'm you know ensure that they're not going to go anywhere, um, you know while I'm running or walking or jogging or anything like that. You know you just um, go ahead and turn them on, and there it is. You know they're lighting up the area right in front of you. So again, this is designed to be able to you know give you that peace of mind that you can have your flashlight light up you know a nice area right in front of you um, as you're walking or as you're running or anything like that. And, um, you know, you're not going to have to worry about having to, uh, you know, set the light down or anything like that. If you have to do something else, you know, I can easily have the leash on one hand and maybe a bag on the other or something like that. Or again, a water bottle and a phone or something like that on the other. And, you know, if I have to go through, I can go ahead and switch the different modes on the lights. So again, um, there they are blinking and I can go ahead and turn them off and I'm good to go. So what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and take these outside and give you uh, a little bit of a look as to how they look as you're walking with them in front of you. All right guys, so we're outside now. Um, I have the camera pointed down at the sidewalk so you guys can get a feel of how this will work. What I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna turn one of the knuckle lights on so it'll simulate if you were using one flashlight in your hand. And the reason for that is so you guys can see as I swing my hand back and forth, um, there's gonna be a time where there's not gonna be any light in front of you. So there it is, I'm turning it on. So now I'm gonna simulate like I'm walking. So as I'm swinging my hand back and forth, as you guys see there, the light kind of disappears. So um, if I were to make it like maybe go around a corner or something and I don't see a, a hole or a ditch or something, I might miss it because there is no light in the way. So as I turn on the other one, I'm gonna simulate now. So I have them both on. I'm gonna simulate as I'm walking. So there's always gonna be light pointed uh, towards the front of you. So again, these extra wide beams that are coming out of the knuckle lights are doing a really good job at lighting up everything right in front of you. Uh, I'm gonna swing my hands a little bit faster, simulate like I'm running. So again, always constant light right in front of you there. Now I'll go ahead and turn on the blinking mode just so you guys can get a feel for it. And uh, the reason why it's looking like this is because obviously the, um, you know, I turned them on at two different times. So the lights haven't synced together. But again, this is gonna be a mode that you're gonna be using if you're gonna be in a higher traffic area. So you wanna let, you know, maybe vehicles or other people that are maybe running in an opposite direction from you see you. And this is, a, again, does a great job at that. Um, it, you know, it, it puts out more than enough light to be able to be seen and still be able to see what's right in front of you. So let me go ahead and turn these back on into the high. Uh, so there it is on high. And now I'll go ahead and show you guys the low. So um, it does come down quite a bit. So depending on the area that you're walking, if you have a lot of natural light, maybe street lights and stuff like that, um, or you know it's not that dark, you can go ahead and just use a low. And that's gonna give you a longer uh, usage time. And again, anywhere from the four to eight hours, you might get more towards the eight hour portion if you're using the low mode on the knuckle light. So uh, again, here is a shot of them on my knuckles. And now I have the ability to be able to use my hands and grab different things. So if I'm carrying a water bottle, carrying a phone, a leash or something like that, um, I can go ahead and do that and still have those lights available for me. So there it is. That is the knuckle lights. I'll go ahead and leave a link below where you guys can pick these up if you guys are interested. Let me know if you guys have any questions.